Hey everybody, I just want to give a quick update. So I started not feeling all the way great today. Um, when I got to the hospital, I started getting really hot and like my ears itch and I'm not sure if my throat is wanting to hurt. My nose is stuffy, but I've been crying a lot. So <laughs> I think that's from that. But I was so tired that I could barely hold my eyes open. Like I just feel run down. So I only stayed at the hospital for about 40 or 50 minutes. I talked to his nurse and she said I'm doing the right thing by going home and getting some rest and taking care of me. And I was like, I know that, but it doesn't make it any easier to be away from Shane. Like, this is hard. It's so hard. But I don't want him to get sick. Like, I just don't want him to get sick. So I don't know if I'm sick yet or not. But I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm facing my window. And some little kid just flew down the hill on a scooter. Like, he's not wearing a helmet or anything. I hope he doesn't crash because, holy cow, he was going fast down that hill. But, um, yeah, so today I've been really sad. I came home, I ate some lunch with Alex, and I took a nap. And I woke up from the nap feeling fine. Like, I feel fine. Just run down. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly cautious not being at the hospital, but I just can't risk his little life. He's just so fragile. So I'm keeping baby Shane above all else and not being there. And I'm crying a lot because I miss him. I just miss him. I know he's doing okay without me. The nurse is like, honey, he sleeps 99% of the time. He's not going to know you're not here for a few days if you're sick. And I'm like, okay. And I called to check on him. And the nurse is like, honey, he's a rock star. Since you left, mind you, I wasn't even there an hour. But since I left, he only had one episode. They're not even considering it an episode. Because they walked in and he was at 65% when they went in. He was already bringing himself back up. They didn't have to do anything. And so they're not even really considering it. So, <sighs> sorry, mama will take it. I'm so tired. I'm just so tired and I ache, but I feel fine. It's more annoying than anything. I think the achy is from holding on to the dog the other night. I really think that's what it is while she was trying to go after another dog because I just have no strength and she pulled everything in my upper body. She's 89 pounds and... I had to hold on for dear life. So, I think that's my problem. I don't know. But, like I said, I just don't want to take a chance with his little life. So, I'm at home. It sucks. I dusted everywhere. Now I'm going to scrub the bathrooms. Yay. <laughs> Alex went to the grocery and then he went to pick up his other son. So, when they get home, we're going to make dinner. But... Yeah, that's today. Today kind of sucks. Not for Shane, just for me, you know, because I'm not with him. But he's doing awesome, and I guess that gives me some kind of comfort that he's doing so well. The doctor called me while I was taking a nap, so I obviously took that call. And he was like, he's doing great. He's gaining the right amount of weight, even though he's on the Lasix. So I'm just thankful. I keep thanking God over and over again. For him having such a good day. And I'm also praying that I'm not coming down with whatever Alex has. Because I really want to go see my son tomorrow. Like, I just want to go see him. I miss him. So, yeah. I don't know if that kid just went down the hill again. <laughs> I have to admit, it looks like a lot of fun. Not going to lie. Because that is one steep hill. So, yeah. I'm going to go scrub my bathrooms. And then... My husband's coming home to make me dinner. So, that's today's update, update. Guys, every day I can't talk. It's like I slur my words every day. I'm sure everybody thinks I'm just crazy. But it's, I don't know. My brain was in a fog feeling while I was pregnant. And that just hasn't gone away yet. So, I'm still trying to get my strength back. It's only been, what's it been? 17 days? Yeah, 17 days. So, I don't know. There are things I wish people would warn you about. Like, I knew. This is way TMI. So, if you guys don't want TMI, cut the video off now. Because it's going to be a little bit personal. 
I knew I was going to bleed for a while. I didn't know it was going to be this long and this bad for this long. Like, it's like, jeez, please, man. Is this ever going to end? You know, it's like, I just want to be able to take a shower and feel clean and not get out and feel like, oh, well, this is still happening. It's like, man, nobody warns you that it lasts so long. Like, I thought I'd bleed for like maybe two weeks. And, yeah, no, it's still going on, and I'm still sore, and I guess that's why they give you six weeks to recover. I don't know. It's like, I don't understand. My mom knows a lady who got pregnant two weeks after she gave birth. She got pregnant again, and it's like, yeah, doing those things is just the, one of the last things on my mind right now. Like, nope, sorry. <laughs> Not happening right now, buddy. So, fortunately, my husband is totally on board with all of that, but holy cow, I can't imagine how people do that stuff right after giving birth. Like, sheesh, I'm still, like, recovering. And my son only weighed 2 pounds 13 ounces. I can't imagine having given birth to a, a full-term baby. Like, I don't even know what that would have felt like. Yeah, because I had some damage with... Shane's tiny little head. His head is just so little. It's so little. He is so little. His head's getting bigger, though, and his suture lines are starting to separate, so he doesn't have giant ridges anymore. But, sorry, my nose is running just from crying. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah. I'm ready to recover completely from the delivery and then I'm slowly rebuilding muscle. I've noticed I'm gaining weight. Like, looking at the scales, I'm gaining weight. And my husband's like, honey, you're regaining muscle. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm going to call it, too. So, <laughs> I'm trying to be okay with, with everything. It's just maybe if I had clothes that fit, I wouldn't feel so uncomfortable in my body. But, yeah, I just want to heal and work on exercising and... Yeah, I figure I'm going to be exhausted for the rest of my life, or at least until he's 18, just because that's how I am. So, I don't know. I'm rambling again, so I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to go scrub my bathrooms, and I will update you guys tomorrow on whether or not I was able to go to the hospital or had to stay home. Our shower is tomorrow afternoon, so I will be home for a little bit in the afternoon, and I'm really looking forward to that. So, that'll be fun. I always thought I'd be pregnant at my baby shower, but, you know, my son's just as impatient as I am, and he wanted to meet me sooner, so that's how I look at this situation. But, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.